one hundred percent real. For those that don't know, Gerard Carmichael has a reality show, but they shoot it in a a cool way. You don't get like full reality show vibes from it. I like the first episode. Obviously, the biggest factor of the first episode was the Tyler and Gerard Carmichael conversation. But before that, at the beginning of this episode, Gerard is about to get nominated for an Emmy. Mm -hmm. So he texts Tyler, yo, sup fam, Texas. sup bro, would you like to come to the Emmys with me? And then for we follow Gerard for an entire week while he constantly checks his phone for Tyler to reply, which he doesn't. He does stand up every night and just talks to the crowd about Tyler, the creator, not replying to his text message about the Emmys. Oh, so Gerard really likes Tyler. He has a crush on him. We'll get there. Yeah. So in between all of that, I find out that Gerard Carmichael might be the biggest hoe I've ever met in my life. Well, we already had- While he's waiting for the love of his life to reply, he is fucking guy after guy. He's on Grindr the whole time. You see about 17 different guys come in and out of his hotel room and they fuck. You still gotta get his nut off. I mean, I feel him, especially when you're hurt and can't be with the person you really love. You just kind of have to fuck through it. Yeah. So I respect it. But I did not know that Grindr was just a fuck fest. I apologize for all the dating app jokes I've made. Mm. <clears throat> the gays are giving it up. Oh, I don't know, news. just because we Gerard is an attractive guy. So maybe no, that's it, the it's difference. It's not only that. It's, it's just the fact that he's a guy. There's nothing hornier. There's nobody two, hornier. Two guys. There's two guys. <laughs> That is true. A gay man, a gay single man is the horniest fucking species on the planet. While, while nominated for an Emmy. Oh, the and gay hurt. Oh, the horniest, <laughs> the horniest species on the planet by far. But how quick it happens, like it's like 5 a.m. in his hotel room, and by 6 a.m., just some dude from Grinder comes in. Mind you, Drod doesn't even have his own photo on his grinder. He just has his like six pack. Okay. And the producers are like, so you didn't even like want to know like what he looked like? And the dude like pulls up his grinder is like, no, I just saw his stomach and I was, I was ready to go. I was like, this, <laughs> that happens. That's sick. So y'all are telling me this isn't <laughs> Please like, get tested. And that's not a gay I've thing. That's a, just a casual sex thing. I've never looked thing. at just like a photo of tits and been like, oh, bet. Let's run it. Like, I wouldn't even yeah. do that. Yeah, that's, that's not it. enough. But I keep telling you, a horn, a gay single man. <laughs> just looking at the man's navel. That, they don't give a fuck. Looking at a belly button. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. At but all. I will say post Casual sex in the gay world is really cool. Like they had a really nutritious breakfast. Like they giggled. They were kissing each other in front of the producers. They and go the to the gym together. They just met. Like the gays are, are, they have it figured out. That seemed like the healthiest random hookup I had ever seen in my life. All right. So he, they respected each other. <laughs> <laughs> they cared for each other's feelings. And then when it was time to work, the gentleman left. So he has a, he has a real crush on Tyler. Yes. Yeah. So after his fuck fest for five days, Tyler then finally replies, I think the day before the Emmys, and goes, gotta shoot, that's lit. That's his reply to so him. I, I'm talking I have Tyler. a shoot. I have a shoot, but that's lit that you have. Yeah, but it was like kind of cryptic. What you said is what I think he meant. I'm not available. I have a shoot, so I can't come. But it's great lit. that you're nominated for an Emmy. <laughs> so Tyler curved the Emmy for, yes. his, for his whatever his shoot is. Yes. Yeah, so then we can assume that his shoot wasn't as big as the Emmys, right? What if it was that recent Louis Vuitton campaign they just put out? Yeah. That's different. You never Pretty know. Pretty big. Yeah. And like, I don't know, just to go to the Emmys as Tyler, I feel like that's a whole thing. And Tyler was like, nigga, I ain't gay. Like, I'm not going with you to the Emmys. He did, first of all, he didn't present it as like, I will unalive be you. my date. He was really- Tyler is gay, isn't he? Isn't he bisexual? Yeah, he's gay. Tyler's bisexual. Is he? Tyler's yeah, gay. I'm pretty okay. sure he's bisexual. He came out on the Flyboy album. I don't see because Tyler, he's that's I fuck with Tyler great. I think he's dope, but that's but he be putting the gayness. Little, no, he oh. just it's just that I don't know. That's I don't know if he's line. using that as if he's joking, if he's serious. He drops little bars here and there. You like, like what is that? Like I why would you he, throw that bar? Right I there? think a couple things can be true. I think he trolls our generation because we come across so homophobic, and he thinks it's hilarious as he should. The way he did like to flex, where flex is like, what the fuck. Like clearly, Flex was like, "Well, why would you? Why did you? Why did you choose that book?" <laughs> but listen to what Tyler was saying. Let's. He's like some, looking for some, rough buff necks. Yeah, buff necks. To, 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 to rough sex, rough butt sex. Like <laughs> to rough we know butts. that was just to troll. See, and it is funny because Flex is older, so that's like he's a different generation. He, he don't like, know that part of hip hop. He like, yo, wait. Like, what? what made I'm you? I'm sure. I'm sure you had other bars that you could have gave us right there. <laughs> why would you land on that? But from what I've gathered, I do think Tyler is bisexual. I think. Yeah, I think it's safe. But I've given it I'm, like a, a, a lot of thought. But, but that's what I'm saying. The fact that we, you have to think and you don't know is just like, that's why I can't. It's like, like, bro, what's up, man? Like, cut the shit. Well, it's are you also really, not are you, really our business. 
It's you know, it's not our business. But if you're gonna throw bars in there and do that, it's like okay, like yo, you if if you was to start singing like that with those lyrics, I would <laughs> like have yo, some questions. Yeah, I'm like yo, Rory, you gay? Like, I like Forrest Gump. Okay, that, fine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I'm just like, I don't know what Tyler like. Is he? That's why with this, I thought this was all a stunt. I didn't know if this was. Uh, he even, he even said in um, bro. which was wait, great. Wait, wait, yeah, flex looking in the index for buff net niggas just for some hot butt sex. Mm. <laughs> he said, mm. he said, mm. <laughs> like, he said, <laughs> yo, that's the sickest. <laughs> yo, and Tyler stopped on him. Mm, like, yo, nah. Yo, can you can, can you pull up? Uh, can you pull up Tyler Vince Staples freestyle? Oh, I love that one. Yes, hold on. He starts oh. saying me and Vincent having threesomes. Vince is like, no, <laughs> no, we're not having threesomes, Tyler. That's what I'm saying with Tyler. I feel like he's trolling, man. I feel like this shit is just all jokes, man. I don't think he's gay. I don't think he's bisexual. No, but if you listen to some of his nah, actual songs where he's not. Like making jokes. The I'm sorry record. How you know he's not making a joke there? I don't think he was joking on the I'm sorry record where he's talking about his relationship with his mom and then apologizing to women that he let on and did, didn't know he was switching by coasts and shit. Like he does some wordplay to say, sorry to all the women that thought I was straight. Yeah. I fuck dudes too. And on Garden Shed, on Flower Boy, that was like the song that he really opened up. That was like his coming out publicly, mm. which was in like what? When was Flower Boy? 20. 19, 2017, pre pandemic. So he's been like open for a bit. And I think it's great that he hasn't done some whole like, let's stop everything we're doing and I'm going to make a video about how I'm gay. Like he puts it in his music and like Gerard. And just like that, well, Gerard is also stand up. Like he can do that in his stand up and it's a thing. That's fine. That's his version of music. I'm talking about like they don't have to do a TikTok video to announce they're gay. Like they just put it in their, their music and go about with the jokes. Mm hmm. So, after he gets turned down from Tyler to go to the Emmys, he talks with like his friends and everything of like, I like Tyler a lot. I told him that I had feelings for him. He replied with, LOL, you stupid bitch. In a voice note, Gerard texted him like months and months ago. This was before the Emmy thing. Mm -hmm. He was just explaining to his friends how long this has been going on. Yeah. Yo, bro, I, have, like, I think I have feelings for you. Would love to talk about whatever. Tyler sends a voice note back. <laughs> Wait. Ha, 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 you, you stupid bitch. Wait, he texts Gerard Car Carmichael, I have feelings. Well, Gerard texts Tyler, hey, I have feelings for you. Yeah. Yeah. That he sees him more than just a friend. And then Tyler sent a voice note back saying, ha, 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 you stupid bitch. So here we are. So then. Tyler thinks the same of Gerard that I think of Tyler. I think he's trolling. I think he's, jo he's joking. Like, get no, out I think Ger I think this was actually a, a big confirmation that Tyler is by. Gerard is his very close friend. They've been friends for a very long time. I don't think he'd be shooting at his friend if he didn't think his friend was interested in men. <laughs> like, that'd be crazy. Like, that's like shooting at your, your lesbian friend. Like, what are you doing? Mm. If she was bisexual, you may think you may have a shot. But if Tyler was just straight and was fucking girls, I don't think Gerard, his very close friend, would have been <laughs> comfortable saying, I have, yeah. I have feelings for you. So. He then takes like another three days to try to put together this voice note to ask Tyler to come on the reality show to have that conversation. They then have it, and that's what the clip that went viral, where Gerard is trying to have a serious moment and Tyler is just laughing through the entire thing. He's ordering food. He farts. He, yeah, he, <laughs> he farts on the producer. <laughs> and then closes the door. <laughs> Let's watch a little bit of it. I want you to see that but then he's, I understand why he's, he curved it then. If, if, we, if we good friends, it's like, bro, I'm not, I'm not fucking with you. I don't want to misrepresent Tyler because he was joking and everything, but I could see how uncomfortable he was and rightfully so. Yeah. He's trying to just avoid the whole thing. Yeah, because they're friends. Yeah, you're my friend. He even yeah. says, like, you're like my brother. Like, I consider you family, bro. Yeah. Is that I kind of felt like Which is like a distance face. between us. I have an idea of what it is. Is but what I think it's because I told you I have feelings for you and you, you, we didn't talk about it ever. That was like weird. I don't know if it was just too awkward to talk about or too. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it's just like I feel like you left me hanging out there a little bit. Like, like when you said that, I think I replied with like something. Super they chopped this up to make Tyler look actually better. Regular, like you left. 
<laughs> call me stupid, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, I did. <laughs> So fucked up. <laughs> Yo. Is this sicker than Love is Blind? <laughs> yeah, this might be sicker, bro. Getting curved. And then while he's doing man. that, he puts his hands in his face and then Tyler starts laughing at the whole room and then asks the people to bring the food in. <laughs> and then starts eating salmon with his hands while, while it's just awkward silence. <laughs> he's eating salmon with his hands? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Painting your nails to go turn your gay friend down is kind of crazy. Though. Look at him offering his shit. <laughs> this is so awkward. Yeah, that's pretty gay. Nah, right but wait, this gets even. Because I don't want any of that. I'm cool. <laughs> I feel like the comedian in Gerard would love this, though. Thank you. Because I'm done with that. <laughs> Not gonna finish that. Oh, I wasn't implying I wanted it. I don't know. I don't want any of that. <laughs> I'm big straight. Big straight on that. I'm big straight on that. Like straight on that. What are you seeking? No, I think he's yeah, saying I'm big straight. Like, no, 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 no. Wait, what? That's that's part of hilarious. Big straight on that. <laughs> what are you seeking? In life or on this plate? <laughs> No, Warrior Ma! <laughs>